tools ever. So uh, we need some math here. And I did for you guys um, something that I put in your um, project folder. If you go to documents folder, you have this file here called uh, compensation high dynamic range images. And this is an um, Excel file. So you can open it using um, Microsoft Word or another free alternative, right? Like Google, Google, Google tools or Google docs. Um, so I have this, you know, small table here for you. Um, as I said before, the problem, this compensation problem comes because the texture, which is connected here, is multiplied by the lighting information of the high dynamic range environment. So what I'm doing in here is just right here, the R, G and B values of the render and the R, G, V values of of the plate of the real picture. And this is the result of divide this by this. Okay, because as I said, the texture, this texture is multiplied. So we are just removing that multiplication, just dividing, just doing the other, uh, you know, the other operation to the texture. So we are going to remove that information um, that the high dynamic range is, you know, putting on top of the textures. And the best way to do it is with some math here. Um, there are different ways, but I think this is the most simple one. So we need to check these values here. So you can you know, if you want to do something extremely correct and extremely accurate, you can do that with all these color values. And your render is going to be just perfect with exactly the same lighting condition than the, than the panorama, okay, than the real uh, pictures. We're going to do it only with this small guy here, which is the uh, neutral gray, okay? In most cases, this is just enough, okay? And just sampling the a neutral gray, uh, your render is gonna match perfectly fine. But as I said, you, if you want, you can repeat the process using all these color charts. Okay, um, just let me make a small selection here. And let me write down these values, R, G, and B. Just give me something like this, so I can work with this in a better way. Okay, so, sorry about it. Okay, so as you can see, well, I have been sampling this before, so that's why I have these numbers here, but, well, we can, Type here, 0 0.05547, 0 0.05188, and blue is gonna be 0 0.06161. And now, we need to do the same, but with this guy here. And the values are 0 0.11363. Eight seven and zero point two zero one four one. Okay, so this is the compensation value. Okay, so we can go back to Maya. 
select the light, come here to the texture, come here to where the texture file is placed, and we can go to the color balance and click on color gain. And we are going to use the same values for the RGB to compensate that. So let me do something like this. Okay. So just type here 2.190, and um, 3.269. Let's go. Let me go back to the images where the render is going to be placed. And let me call this just something up. Oh, sorry about it. Just let me call this Sunny Lyric before and now let me save this first of all and now render go to the script editor just to check the process the progress this is going to be pretty quick okay that's it so let me go back here and now we have this and we can call this after go back to Nuke, can remove this and read again this and this. So this is before and this is after. So This is the previous render and this is the new render. And if we compare this to this, we can see that the lighting conditions are pretty similar, right? So you can see now this value over here is pretty similar to this value over here, okay? And if we see the reflections here, they are pretty much the same than here. You can see easily the intensity of the light here and you know compared with this they are quite close. Same here if you check this ball it's pretty similar to this ball. Okay so well the background is still a little bit different but that's another story. Okay that's because this image comes uh, from Maya and the resolution is pretty low because this is not rendering the, the final panorama that we have in the, in the, um, in the dome light. Okay. So if you check this resolution is pretty bad. That's why it's like a preview. Okay. So don't worry about background because we are going to change the background later, later on, just check the balls, check the reflection and check the color chart and the overall lighting should be more or less the same. Okay. So look at these values over here. Look at these values over here. They are in the same range. So I'm pretty happy with this. So we can just remove this. We can remove this. Um, and go back to Maya, just save the scene, and in the next lesson we're 